hi guys welcome back to my channel today I am just popping in really quickly to talk myself through filling up these Christmas boxes for the kids I was supposed to have them ready on December 1st and it didn't quite work out that way and the kids ended up going to hang out with their grandparents um, for the weekend so they are heading home today and I want to try and pull these boxes together quickly I'm always pretty hard on myself that I don't get things done the way I would like to get them done but I'm gonna move that out of the way for the sake of fun and beautiful memories with the kids so yeah Brian picked up these gift boxes from the Gap actually <laughs> when we picked up um, a few jeans for the kids so I thought they were perfect to use for their boxes so that's what we are going to put their stuff in so the first thing I wanted to include in their boxes this is the first time that we're doing this actually writing out a Christmas list um, my kids are pretty simple when it comes to Christmas things they just like the excitement and the surprise of getting things um, every now and then they'll have a specific request but we don't really you know we don't get in the habit of doing that but I thought this would be fun to do this time around to actually have a little Christmas list of sorts I wanted to find something I found a few that I pinned on Pinterest that were a tad more Christ centered um, but I couldn't find anything that actually had a link that I didn't have to pay for so I didn't want to pay for it right now so I did find this one that was super cute and although I don't want to say this out loud so I'm just going to write this on the screen just in case you have little ones watching I still thought this was super cute so I picked this one and I thought it would be fun just as a starting point for us to write down a few things that we would like to have for Christmas although our main focus is always what can we give to others in many different ways I thought this would be a lot of fun um, because my kids don't really have too many requests I thought this would be a nice starting point for them to grab these books from Target just to give them something to look through and kind of get their minds going about things that they would like to have and what we can possibly give to others so I just picked up a book for each of them Christmas is always such a a hard a hard season to manage <laughs> to manage you know teaching them the balance between giving and receiving and that can be really hard in this in this world we live in but I'm trying to do my best so anyway I don't want to take all of the fun out of things for them so I picked these up and I thought it would be fun for us to have some hot chocolate and some warm apple cider and sit by the Christmas tree and go through them and circle things that we would like to have and think of things that um, would be great gifts for others so this is the next thing I'm going to put inside of their boxes the next thing I grabbed just some fun coloring books so we were in five below so we just figured we would pick out a few so I'm just going to add these to the box the next things I got are a super treat for my kids because they do not eat candy um, it's not really something that I give them very often at all so I know they're gonna be super excited about having some candy inside of their boxes so I just picked up some of these boxes for each of them and then also <laughs> bags of gummy bears so I know they're going to be so excited because they know that mommy is not a fan of letting them have candy so the next thing I have of course I couldn't forget my Christmas jammies it took me far too long to figure out <laughs> <laughs> to find jammies that I wanted. I wanted all matching pajamas, of course, and ugh, I just had such a hard time trying to find them. I spent way too much time trying to find these pajamas, but um, I think they're going to love them. The kids really, <laughs> really like matching jam so this is what I could find I got the boys set from Target the um, buffalo green print from Target and then I got the buffalo red um, print for Savannah from I think it was oh man was it Carter's or Oshkosh they were having a huge sale I know you probably have seen these 
already, but I thought they were so super cute with this little mousse. Then we have the buffalo print pant, and they are so nice and soft and warm, so I love these a lot. I got a set for both of my boys because we want to keep them matching for as long as possible. They like it, and so we stick with it. <laughs> And then this set I got for Savannah, I'm so excited about. I think she's going to love. It's this buffalo um, red print. And it actually, this one is for her doll. How cute is that, you guys? <laughs> Next thing I got, you guys, how fun are these? <laughs> so, I was like I said, I was at Five Below and saw these and they're super cute. I have two little reindeer. And then one little Christmas tree. And the last thing I have are these super cute little glasses. I've got reindeer ones and Christmas tree ones and snowmen. So I'm going to put those in their boxes too. I just wanted to share a quick story because these videos are always better with a little story, right? So I was going to put together the boxes and I needed some tissue paper inside of my boxes to add all of my items to. And you guys know that I'm super extra, so I normally have a vision for the way I would like things to go. And all I had left for tissue paper was black tissue paper because we also use a lot of tissue paper for packaging for the Falco and the Falco kids. So I had run out of tissue paper and needed to restock. So all I had left was black tissue paper and I just really, really did not want to put black tissue paper inside of the kids' boxes, which I know, I know is extra. So I was trying to move forward in life and I was just gonna use my good old black tissue paper. And then my husband came out of the back room with this. <laughs> So I love it so much. I gave him big hugs and kisses and yeah, I was super grateful because it's the little things. So now I have this super cute sparkly red and white tissue paper that I get to fill up my kids boxes with. So yeah, I'm excited. So, so far this is what we've got. I think that all I have left is to add their list and their little Target book to it. And I think I'm going to add that to the top with a little special note from Mommy just to talk to them about how grateful I am for them and how I'm looking forward to spending December celebrating the birth of Jesus with them. So I'm excited about that. So I'm just going to finish these off and wrap them up and I'm excited for when they get home. Let me see. Oh, girl. <laughs> 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 Let me see. Let me see. I have a Spider-Man coloring activity book. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Elena. Let me see, Kendall. Hey, this Elena? So the candy, the candy is for mommy to say sorry for eating your cookies, okay? Wait, well, I ate my cookies. Yeah, I ate your cookies. Oh yeah, I told Savannah, I told Savannah you ate. <laughs> well, I ate my cookies. But I got you new stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I gotta see this. I just saw a picture of green goblins. Who's that? Who's that for? Maybe. It's, uh, not quite. Camera, uh, your baby doll. <laughs> it's for your baby doll. Yay. Oh, look at you, cool dude. Oh, you guys are so cute. 
Oh, that's so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>